Hi all, today we are going to discuss about earth fault relay connections for the three phase circuits. So, in order to get the earth fault relay using a single relay, but it needs three separate CTs and three separate PTs. So, the direction relay is energized, we go for the directional relay, single directional relay, which is energized by a residual current and residual voltage. So, directional relay connection we have already seen in our previous class. So, I am not going to that, I am only discussing about how the elements or the respective things are connections are made for the respective connections. That means, the current coil and the voltage coil of the directional relay. So, for that first part, we are going to start with how to get the residual current. How the residual current will be obtained, how it can be given to the current element of directional relay. So, residual current. So, this can be obtained like this if you are taking the three phase. So, this is my R phase, V phase and V phase. So, here we take three separate CTs. So, these are my three separate CTs. So, these are connected like this. So, these CTs will be connected together like this. All the three CTs are connected in parallel. And this secondary is that for the common terminal of the CT, this will be connected to current coil. of directional relay element. So, let us assume the currents that are passing through this one, this is equal to IR, this is equal to IY. So, correspondingly, this will be equal to IB. Let us assume this current I am representing by I residual. So, this I residual value will be equal to the phasor sum of IR plus IY plus IB. So, now under balanced conditions, that means under balanced conditions, so the value of IR will be this one, this is my IR. So, IY and IB, the, all the three currents have will have the nearly same magnitude because we are assuming a balanced load. So, the sum of these three currents as they are displaced by 120 degrees will be equal to 0. So, this value of I residual will be equal to 0. Even if there is a small unbalance, the residual current magnitude will be of a lesser magnitude. So, we will make the setting in the current setting in such a way, it will not operate for the small values of the unbalances. We know that under fault condition, how much value of unbalance can come? Accordingly, we will keep our the current setting of your directional current relay. So, accordingly, we can make the number of turns so that it will operate only if that crosses. So, now under unbalanced conditions or under fault conditions. So, the value of let us assume the fault has happened in the B phase. So, fault has happened here. So, the value of this is my value of IR and the value of the remaining two currents. So, this will be my value of IY because IR and IY will be nearly same, but this is my value of IB. So, there is a displacement of the IB. So, automatically I residual which is the sum of IR plus IY plus IB. So, this is not equal to 0. So, as the residual current is not equal to 0, so your current coil will be actuated and accordingly your relay will operate. So, let us now see the connections for the voltage coil. So, I am discussing about the residual voltage. So, to get the residual voltage, the connections will be like this because the potential transformer will have both the primary as well as secondary winding. So, primary winding will be connected in star connection with the grounded neutral, the neutral point is grounded and the secondary, this is connected in open delta connection. Open delta or this is also called as the broken delta connection. So, exact word only we will write. So, this is connected. The secondary is connected in broken delta connection. What is the meaning of this broken delta connection? So, let us try to draw the phasor diagram for this one. Under normal operating conditions, this is my value of Vr, this is my value of Vy and this is my value of Vb. So, this is for the primary. So, I am representing the respective voltages. This is my R, this is my Y and this is B. Similarly, the secondary side also the voltages will induce. This is for R, Y and B. So, now you can see here the tip of R is connected to tail of Y. 
the tip of y is connected to tail of b the tip of b is taken out and the tail of r is taken out across these two elements it is called as my residual voltage the delta connection is broken here so that's why it is called as broken delta so i am representing the same thing here the first one is the r so i am representing r this is my value of r now coming to the y so y the tail of y because we have to draw parallel to the primary side so this is my value of the y so this will be my value of b so the residual voltage so across this one this is called as the residual voltage under balance condition this residual voltage will be equal to zero this residual voltage will be equal to zero so this residual voltage will be connected to voltage coil of directional relay it will be connected to voltage coil of directional relay because generally the voltage coil of the directional relay only measure the voltage it is not going to affect it so much it only measures the voltage now coming to the case of fault condition so under fault condition so i am again drawing the diagram so please try to understand this clearly otherwise the doubts will continue so again i am taking the three pages so i am making the respect to connections for the primary side so primary side it is connected in star and the neutral point is grounded so this is my value of r so this is my phase y and this is my phase b let us assume the fault has happened here this is my r y b getting this one so now the secondary side it is again connected in the broken delta connection so secondary side i am drawing the connections so how this will be there this is my r so y and b so this one is connected here this one is connected here and from here we take the output so this will be my residual value so now depending on what is the value of the fault that means depending on fault current and fault impedance voltage of this b phase can vary from 0 to respect to phase value it can vary from 0 to respect to phase value let us assume the fault resistance is equal to 0 that is the worst possible conditions so let us try to analyze in that condition so let us take for example these are my three phase conditions so this is my neutral point previously so now the neutral point so this is my r y and b so you can see here now fault is connected to ground so through the fault the current will return back agree with me so you can see here across your r coil the voltage that is connected is equal to voltage of the r and voltage of b because b is now connected through the ground to the coil that means the b phase is directly connected here so automatically your neutral point will shift here because the b phase is grounded i am taking the worst possible case assuming the fault resistance is equal to zero when fault resistance is equal to zero under that condition the voltage will be equal to zero so this is the voltage across my coil r similarly voltage across coil y will be this one so this is my voltage across the coil y and voltage across the coil b voltage across coil b because this one and this one both are at the same potential what is the voltage across b voltage across b is equal to zero so this condition came assuming fault resistance is equal to zero if some fault resistance is there accordingly the value of b will be there your neutral point will be somewhere here accordingly the magnitude of r phase y phase and b phase voltages will change the neutral point will be changed accordingly now coming to the second side the secondary side we have to draw parallel to these ones and take the sum of the values so i am just drawing it here so parallel to the r phase that comes the r phase here so this is my voltage of my r phase so this is my r phase so now corresponding to the y phase so because r the tip of r is connected to tail of y because this is r this is y and this is b and remember here the secondary side whatever voltages are induced they are induced because of the voltages of respect to primary side if you have the confusion about the three phase transformer connections you can refer to my transformer lecture so there i have discussed about complete details about three phase transformer 
connection so these will be connected so now this is my value of vr so for this i have to add the value of y so the y phase is coming here so this is my value of y just parallel to this one <coughs> so across these two i am taking my residual voltage so this will be my v residual voltage because the value of vb is equal to 0 so this v residual voltage is not equal to 0 so automatically it will activate your directional relay so because of this the directional relay will be operated so i am just summarizing the connections so we have obtained from here that under normal condition the residual voltage as well as the current will be equal to zero but whenever the fault comes the residual voltage and current increases so automatically that can be used for detecting your earth fault so how the connections will be made for these things so i am taking this one so this is my three phase circuit this is r y and b so for these the voltage coil will be connected like this this will be connected to ground this is my secondary of my voltage coil so secondary side of the voltage coil will be connected like this so these two terminals will be used for connecting to your potential coil so these things i am taking out so similar way the current CTs, CTs will be connected like this. This is connected here. So these elements will come. So this will be connected to the current coil and this one will be connected to the voltage coil. this is my directional relay and this one is the current coil this one is the voltage coil potential coil or the voltage coil of your directional relay so using this we can detect the earth faults that happens in your three phase system i hope how the earth fault can be detected in a three phase system is completely clear to you if you still have any queries you can leave your comments in the comment section below i will answer to your queries from there thank you thank you very much